Let us now expand on our basic diagram. Given that different competitive priorities are pulling us towards different sides of this diagram, depending on our customers' needs and our chosen combination of order winners and qualifiers, we need to pick an appropriate process along the diagonal. If we are producing small quantities of highly customized outputs, we would choose a job process or job shop process. A job shop process is suitable for producing one of a kind or few of a kind type of products. As we move down the diagonal, we are producing larger quantities of outputs with less customization. We produce a batch of this, then change over and produce a batch of that, then change over and produce a batch of something else, then perhaps come back to a batch of the first item, and so on. We call this a batch process. The batch sizes here can range from small to large, giving us a range of process choices along this portion of the diagonal. As we move further down the diagonal, we get to a point where the process is doing the same thing over and over. We call this a line process. This is the kind of process that is most closely associated with the mass production assembly line setting. Think about a conveyor belt. We start out with nothing but a piece of paper with some specifications on it. As the conveyor belt moves, things get added. By the time the conveyor belt reaches the end of the process, we have a finished car. As we move down to the extreme end of the diagonal, we are still talking about a process where we are doing the same thing over and over. But here we can think of a process so linear that, literally, we are talking about a liquid flowing through a pipe. We call this a continuous process. Here is my tanker of crude oil. The oil flows through some pipes, some tanks, more pipes, more tanks, and so on, until finally I open a valve and out flows a gallon of gasoline. In the car assembly line we talked about earlier, I could follow each car as it went through the process. Here, however, I cannot follow each gallon of gasoline. The best I can do is track which batch of crude oil it came from. This diagram is called the product process matrix. It applies to manufacturing processes. As we can see from this diagram, the job shop process employs a flexible flow pattern. The small and large batch processes employ an intermediate flow pattern. The line and continuous processes employ a line flow pattern.